So what you can see on the screen is what we call the base, containing all the elements in the game. The offense, the defense, the builders, the town hall, and the clan castle. This will be our animal cell. And just like having organelles in a cell, we have elements in the game too. Shall we start? Our first element would be base. As you can see, it houses all of basically everything in the game. So in an animal cell, that's what we call a cytoplasm. So a cytoplasm is a gel-like substance made from dissolved proteins and liquid encasing all the cell and giving the organelles a fluid nature. And what protects the cytoplasm and the whole cell against foreign substances? Well, it would be the cell membrane. Right. But in the game, it's what we call walls. It basically encloses all elements in the game. So for example, in this video, it protects the base from being attacked against or by the attacker's troops. The next element would be the elixir, this tiny purple thing that you're seeing on the screen. An elixir is being produced and collected of most elements in the game. The elixir in Clash of Clans is being utilized to almost all the processes needed in the game. To upgrading defenses, to upgrading offenses, and even researching about the troops for them to be upgraded as well. So in the cell, that's what we call protein. So proteins serve multiple roles into the cells or in our whole body. So they're responsible for providing structure for growth and for maintenance. And what holds the specific instructions for elixir making? There goes our clan castle. The clan castle is responsible for elixir making. It's basically the control center of the whole base. The shadows appearing when you click on it and you're seeing it on the screen shows the entirety of the clan castle. So in a cell, the clan castle of Clash of Clans is the nucleus of the cell. It basically is known as the brain of the cell as it's responsible for cellular activities like growth, metabolism, protein synthesis, and reproduction. You see my alter ego, a nucleus has subparts. And in the clan castle, these subparts have parallel element in the game as well. Let's start with chromosomes. Let's zoom inside the area of clan castle in the game. And here we can see the elements that's inside, like the shadow that's, that we're seeing on the screen when you click on the clan castle or something. So first subpart will be the chromosomes. That's right. The chromosomes of Clash of Clans is the town hall. The town hall houses all information about what's happening in the base. It knows how many builders are available or how many elixir are collected and all that. So the chromosomes, however, functions is to handle the DNA inside the nucleus. So DNA, on the other hand, houses all the genetic information of eukaryotic organisms. Hence, it's called the blueprint of life. After the chromosomes, next would be our ribosomes. So ribosomes in a cell are responsible for producing proteins from amino acids during the process of protein synthesis or transcription. So in class of clans, the ribosomes of class of plants would be the gold. The gold is responsible as a resource itself and for generating more resources in the game. And if ribosomes are being created in the nucleolus in the cell as it holds the ribosome biogenesis, in COC, our nucleolus would be the gold collector because it's the primary source of and producer of gold in the whole game. So next would be our nuclear membrane. So as you can see on the edges of the clan castle appearing on the screen, it has walls as well. So if the cytoplasm is being protected by cell membrane, the nucleus, on the other hand, has nuclear membrane. It's called the castle walls in CLC. 
in which they are responsible for protecting the clan castle and its constituents. All right, so we're done with the sub-organelles inside the nucleus. Let's talk about now the organelles presented outside. First would be our endoplasmic reticulum. Its role is to transport materials such as nutrients, enzyme, and proteins anywhere in the cell. So in Clash of Clans, the ER or the endoplasmic reticulum would be the builders. So as you can see on the video, it transports elixir to a constituent that needs upgrading. So once you upgrade, for example, this one, a builder will then transport elixir to that and build it himself. Hence, a delivery boy. Next would be our lysosomes. The main function of lysosomes in a cell is to kill foreign substances that enter the cell. So it's pretty abnormal for bacteria or other foreign substances to enter a cell. So lysosomes are responsible for killing these foreign substances. So in Clash of Clans, the elements that play the same role with lysosomes are what we call the defenses. So it's not just a single thing, but like the actual group of defenses in the game. So here we'll see archer towers, cannons, wizard towers, mortars, exbos, and etc. So in the video, here we'll see someone attacking the game. And these troops of the attackers will then be killed by my team. You know one of our students are asked? What do you know about psychology? Someone will answer, Oh sir, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the set. Yeah, and your teacher would probably ask you What is the reason for that? And probably you're gonna think about it for like a couple of minutes But the answer to that is because the mitochondria houses cellular respiration in which produces adenosine triphosphate or what we, know, what we commonly know as ATP So this adenosine triphosphate are energy Energy molecules needed by the cell. That's why energy molecules produced by the mitochondria, meaning it's the power house of the cell. The clash of clan, its very own mitochondria is what we call the barracks. So why barracks, you ask? Well, in order for you to have your own troops, you have to make them in your barracks. So the barracks is the site of troop creation or it's where troops are being produced. But where are these truths being delivered in process? So in the cell, it's what we call the Golgi bodies or the Golgi apparatuses. In Clash of Clans, it's what we call the army camp. So all of the troops produced by the barracks will then be transported and sorted at the army camps. In here, as, as you can see, I'm going to play a video. They would be prepared to go into battles, defend their own base, or be used as defenders when somebody attacks the base. So speaking of storage, if the cell has a vacuole to store all essential materials like proteins and such, Clash of Clans' own version of vacuole would be the elixir storage, as it is where all the elixir and resources in the game are being stored, hence elixir storage. I already mentioned all elements in an animal cell, but fun fact, in the game, once you reach a certain level, you'd be able to unlock a very extravagant base. I mean, more like a neighbor. Yo, and this would be our plant cell. So this base on the screen is basically just the same with the base earlier. It houses the same elements just like an animal cell, but it has one element that the base earlier did not have. So with the extravaganza introduction, one organelle that the plant cell has that an animal cell does not is the chloroplast. So are you seeing this kind of mining thing with the green gem on top yeah. of it? That is what we call the gem mine. So the very own chloroplast of this neighboring base, its function is to supply gems for the whole base to be utilized for the strengthening of the base, um, hastening up the processes, and basically just everything. And to end this performance task, let's have a short recap of the elements mentioned earlier. We have the cytoplasm, which is the base, the cell membrane, which is the walls in the game, and the plasmic reticulum, which are the builders, mitochondria being the barracks, nucleus being the clan castle, chromosomes being the town hall. We also have proteins as the elixir, vacuole, which is the elixir storage, lysosomes, which are the defense 
stuff like archer towers, wizard towers, expos, and cannons. Chloroplast, which is the gem mine, and lastly, the Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatuses, which is the army camp. Thank you for listening. Tell me I'm the only one that you always heard.